Welcome to the press conference of Ernesto Valverde. Please state your name and medium before your question. One question per turn. Good evening, Ernesto. Tiriti Catalonia Radio, Ricardo Arcanada. I would like to ask you about the change, the replacement when you you change uh, Semedo to the back after 15 minutes where there had been some uh, options for Liverpool. Why do you do that? Well, the truth is uh, I kind of could sense that from the beginning of the game that, uh, that I was going to make that substitution. Maybe not Maybe I wouldn't take uh, uh, Felipe off, but I knew that Nelson Semedo was going to play because they're very dangerous on the left flank with uh, Mane. They have a very powerful, uh, you know, wing there, and they're very powerful, and they they could cause us plenty of trouble. I knew that Arturo was going to change and play on that side as well. I think it was good for us because we suffered at the beginning of the second half. They were really pressing on on us and we were a little bit more stable from then on we could dominate the game in the middle a bit more and uh, when we were playing on the half we could see we were going to create danger and that's 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 how it happens Hola, Ernesto, Marta Ramon, en directa. Hello, Ernesto. I don't know whether in your dreams uh, you could have had such a sound scoreboard as you had today. Where were you looking for with Arturo Bilal in the starting team? And to what extent the plan today was to be able to, to suffer through it, to be on the edge and to really seize the opportunities in the uh, other area? Well, you, you never think about a result. Just uh, you, you see how the game develops, and you see what can happen. You know, depending on how the game goes, uh, one you know one nil, nil nil, one one could be a good result. You never know. But still, as for uh, Arturo, he's he's been great at this uh, end of this season. I thought he was going to be good for us. He was going to help you in this kind of game, especially because they are they don't let you. Uh, they don't allow you to dominate the game. They try to play in your own half. They try to break the way, your rhythm, the way you play. And of course, uh, the first half, for example, it's been an incredible uh, pace. Uh, you know, uh, uh, well, the, the whole thing was going back and forth. And the one that uh, we could see that the 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 the, uh, the team that scored was going to go with an advantage. You know, we're, we're going to have an advantage in the first half, and we, we knew it was going to be a great fight in the center of the midfield. And we managed to to win. And you know, I, I kind of uh, thought these players could help us, and that's that's what they did. No, I'm a little short, so maybe you can't see me, but I'm in the middle here. So about Messi, beyond the goals and the passes uh, he makes, I got this detail from Fermin Suarez, and he said he's uh, disputed 24 split uh, balls, and he uh, conquered 15 of those, which is his record. What do you think about that? Well, that says a lot of the level of commitment that Leo has with the club, with the team, with his teammates. Uh, today it was a game where we had all marked in red uh, the rival that we were facing today we all saw the high level they proved tonight and they are a rival that has that have a, an amazing physical potential and uh, and 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 technical uh, prowess as well and that we needed something like that we needed our players to 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 try to f and to fight for every ball and to get into that sort of dynamics and leo is the first to to take a step up and uh, we know that if leo goes somewhere everybody follows he's a leader of this team so he showed it you know time time and time again good evening coach uh you said the uh, the scoreboard is, was uh, brilliant, because it is, but uh, given the development of the match, do you thought at some point that 1-0 was okay? Well, I'm not going to try to fool you, uh, provided that the, your rival doesn't score and you scored, it, that is a good result. But of course, they've been pressing very high on us on the beginning of the second half, of the second half and we had to suffer uh, in order to try to keep, a, to keep a clean sheet, but we managed to do so. It's, this is 90 minutes, anything can happen, 
anything can happen in any in any play though in the same way that we we, we you know we scored they could have scored but that's the way it is they're a great team they've proven it today uh, at some at some points uh, of the game uh, we had it was it was that uh, we were toe to toe a few moments some moments we were better in some moments they were better so we managed to defend our goals and and we came on top so we ha still have to play 90 minutes there in which uh, we know what to expect good evening for on the zero so it's basically that it's uh, you really have more credit winning uh, to, against a team with the potential they had here today but do you think they might make you suffer there in Anfield well of course of course uh, I can see it's a, it's a team that has the, the, the capacity or the potential the ability to make us suffer to make any team uh, Safa, they scored three goals in the quarterfinals last year uh, against City. They they went home with three nil. We last year we had a three goal difference in the quarterfinals and we got eliminated. So we got kicked off, of the, kicked out of the competition. So we have no reason to uh, to be overconfident. Of course, the, the you know the the uh, the tie is still up there. So from Chile. Was it difficult to make the decision because it was surprising for everyone to have uh, Vidal here with the fight they've got there with Artur Melo, but maybe you needed someone like him to fight in the middle of the field. So do you think he's reaching his peak performance or is it completely different uh, Vidal from what you got in the beginning? Well, let's see. I uh, uh, didn't have to think. Uh, uh, um, the decision of playing Arturo or not, he's playing really well lately and I just wanted to make the most of the best uh, f form of my players in a particular moment. You know, sometimes I thought maybe another a different, it was better to play a different player, but in this case I had no doubts. So the game was uh, in a way, the, it went the way I kind of expected. I knew it was going to be difficult to take control of the game because your rival wouldn't allow you to do it. And Arturo has proven again in the kind of form he's, he's, he's playing. And we'll see who plays next week. Congrats on the win. I would like to ask to what extent you were thinking that Firmino would not be in the starting team. Um, the position of Binaldum also, to what extent were you surprised by his position? Well, we thought that Firmino was going to be in the first eleven because, in the end, you always think that uh, that your your sort of your your normal say first eleven. So, if they played a different player in that position, we knew that they were going to try to block, uh, you know, the hour moving up the ball, and they play the high pressure game not allowing you to play outside they try to make you pass inside and they want to crowd you into your own half and and if you play the long balls they have big big players at the back and that's good for them so so Firmino played in at the end of the game so it must be feeling not bad at all then sobre Messi so I know everyone asks you about Messi, but how did you see this great free kick goal from your position today? Well, I just saw it at pitch level, but the truth is, uh, we always, it's Leo's always surprising. It was a very far free kick. We didn't know what he was going to do in the end. I don't know how he does it, but he always makes it. I'd rather not think how he does it to be honest, but he always turns up when we need him the most. Just when we were in, in situations in which we had to shake Liverpool's sort of domination mood off. And through the way he plays and the way he gets close to their goal, uh, helped us play uh, and win with a better results. And of course, to instill that fear into our opponents. Hola, mister. Uh, so from the Guardian, uh, we always ask uh, about uh, Suarez when he scores as well. So how important was his goal today beyond the importance of the goal? How important is it for him and for the uh, spirit of the team? 
well, uh, he would have to reply to that. But uh, but as far as we are concerned, to be able to open the game, it was uh, crucial because it wasn't clear who owned the game. It is true that we were getting close to the area quite often and you could kind of sense the danger, but they did uh, did the same to us. So in the end, it seemed that the first team to score was going to have a certain advantage and the fact that he did it is good for us, of course. It was, it was great for us. And it was, I think it was it's good for him too. So we give him a bit of a break. It's good for him too, you know. Mr. Valverde, hello. Uh, Chris Williams from Football Grad. Can I ask you about um, Mark andre to Stegen, who made a couple of excellent saves when Liverpool looked like they were in control of the game and could potentially hurt Barcelona when it was still 1-0. Can I just ask your thoughts on um, how you see him progressing with the national side and Joachim Love continues to favour Manuel Neuer and how do you see that obviously working with the player day in, day out? Well, we are really happy with Mark. He's a world-class goalkeeper. He's got a very high level. He's, he proves it every day. He has helped us gr a great deal in a couple of occasions in the second half, Mil after Milner's shot, for example. And, well... <coughs> Uh, you, I don't think it's up to me to say what happens in the in German national team and that's up to uh, Joaquin Lowe but if he doesn't play he's a bit more rested and he, he that's good for us congrats on the win and um, you were just saying a minute ago that uh, this is uh, still open and that Liverpool could score three goals to City um, last year and also you also conceded uh, three goals last year to Roma so does that mean that you are on alert even if the focus uh, seems different than last year that you go in that really cautious to Anfield well I wouldn't say precautions but the experience has to be useful for something that's that's for sure and our experience and, and the experience that we see in our rival as well you know because we've seen how the rival, uh, our uh, Liverpool plays, what Liverpool did at the, the Camp Nou, and we know how they play at Anfield, the high pace they, they uh, the, and the high level they play at, and we cannot forget that our experience says that we cannot be overconfident at all. So the the, the tie is still up there. The stakes are very high we, when we're not through at all and we have a lot to suffer there at Hamfield. Uh, Agencia Reuters from Reuters agency I would like to ask whether in, in this game if you remember the last semi-final in 2015 against Bayern if that reminds you of that game and whether Messi is also more dangerous at the end of the game like in the last stages of the game is he more dangerous then? I don't know. You're talking about semi-final before my time here, so I, I, I'm not really. I don't really know. I haven't got many data to compare. As for Messi, if he's more dangerous at the end of the game, uh, I think every player is uh, is more dangerous when the the day the the, the the matches are about to finish. We always there's always more goals, and the last 15 minutes of the game, there more goals are scored because some of the players are more are tired. You may make you may make mistakes that you wouldn't uh, make in this in the first half because tiredness uh, doesn't help. <laughs> And Messi, because he's so good, he can capitalize on that. From Tutor Sport, I would like to ask you, um, what's the aspect you liked best uh, about your team today, tonight? So would that be the score or the character, the goals, and what do you like list also? Well, the one the one thing that I like the most is that we knew how to overcome certain complicated situations th throughout the game because we had there were moments in which they they took the initiative and we had to go after them you know and when that happens if we 
if we don't have the right momentum, they can that can um, you know kind of take you down. And we managed to find a response to that. But what I like the the, the least, I wouldn't I wouldn't know to be honest. Last question: Did you anything special to to prepare with the, with the midfielders uh, uh, against Salah and Mane? Well. We knew that they are um, th those two players are players that when they have the space, um, they can always offer solutions, uh, playing really deep, and we were ready for that. When Robertson had the ball, and when any of the central defenders had the ball, they're always looking for the space of our, at our backs. And if you play a kind of a high, a, a high kind of kind of defense, you can you can beat. They can create danger. So and they cause trouble in that respect.